it was something to do to do that. Today I'm going to be back playing Click Heroes once again. Let's see if this works. Alright, here we go. Why does it keep doing that? It's so annoying. Anyways. <coughs> Excuse me, because I just had to sneeze there real quick. Anyways. I'm back once again. This time I have... Uh, oh. Looks like I made this much while I was gone. Here's all, here's all the upgrades you can get from Fast Sleep, which I didn't mention last time because I had nowhere near enough money to get them. I can basically purchase all these and now his DPS is going crazy. But you'll eventually notice in a sec here that the DPS will quickly slow down again. That's why we have to do a little thing called level up the heroes. I guess it. Okay, I'm not using that thing yet. making any cash this is kind of bad I got the click get the clicking agent before before as this is why I suddenly have the combos here. but since I realize these monsters are dying more slowly here's the I'm going to show you guys the progression mode thing right here which is Automatically try to get to the highest zone after killing monsters. You can change it to it's right now I have it on progression mode, but you can also have it on farm mode. You can choose whatever one you want. Maybe you can do another multi DPS multiply, which it didn't do much today, so not that effective today, unfortunately. It's a slight modification to the DPS, but that's about it. Now, really, today's goal would be probably not even 20 levels because, yeah, as you can see here, the DPS is freaking going downhill really fast. Like, already, we're not even in. Like, we're not even in 10 levels yet, and it's already slowing down. This is insane. They slow like I'm getting weaker all of a sudden, like what the heck? At first I was like super strong and now it's like everything's slowing back down again. Sheesh. This would be unfortunately a really noticeable trend where the DPS just keeps going lower and lower and lower and it's like slower and slower and slower until it's like so slow that it takes like literally minutes just to Yeah, you'll see why I'm saying that. It, by not taking like literally freaking, you know, 10 seconds just to kill a bomb now. That's just crazy. This is about the average DPS. I literally am forced to level up the these guys a couple of times so I can pass through these. That's how bad it gets. Look at that. A primal boss. Well, I'm try. I'm gonna try to beat this guy legit. If I can't, I'm gonna have to pull on out the ultimate strategy. Oh, I gotta do merch and everything. Cool. Merchandise are these little uh, here things you guys can take on adventure, little quest adventures, and you do all that. But I ha I can't really show that yet because I haven't unlocked them. <laughs> the downside is you have to ascend to unlock these guys. Yeah. Yeah, no way am I waiting for this. Alright, let's see. I got a little assistant thing today. 
I got an assistant clicking thing. Wow. I'm already, my head's already getting tired very quickly from the clicking all the time, so. If you could have a little thing, do have a little substitute do clicking for me. Well, I don't want to say anything, it's just. Clicking eventually gets tiring after a while, so I found a little trick to ease that pain. Hey, at least I'm not hurting my, hey, to be honest, I'm not hurting my head while I'm doing that, so. Also, it's doing way more damage than I would. So, yeah. The combo points are ranking in very, very fast. As you can see, it's also making the DPS skyrocket a little bit, but that is noticeable anymore. It keeps going up constantly. But it's not as constant as I was hoping for. So that's why we get some hero souls. We keep grinding them until the game forces us to ascend. That's why I'm gonna go to a very high level and then ascend. Which is around probably 500 I think I could go up to, and then I have to ascend. Maybe technically I could go much further than that, but at that point the game starts to get really slow and all that stuff really is recommending you to ascend at that point. I'm like, no. I want to keep going. Can't tell me what to do, game. I want to keep going. And that's my decision, by the way. Not the game's choice. That's my choice. Alright. Let's see. I get, wow, I'm getting really lucky with these Primo guys here. I keep getting Primo bosses, this is really lucky. You see, they give me more Hero Souls each time now. The further you get into the zones, the more Hero Souls that these monsters, these bosses will give me. These Primo bosses will give me. And now we got three more Hero Souls. Yay. What am I ever gonna do with those? Well Use them to ascend. Yeah. I think I might have to cut it short at like 150 because you can see this DPS is already going ridiculously slow. I mean I could go on much longer than this, but it would just be hours, dude. I'm gonna have to cut it at 150 because this is just getting ridiculous. It's slow. I, I I don't like this anymore. I don't like the speed of this anymore, so I'm gonna have to halt the progression at 150. So once I go into 150, I have once I get to 149, I'll have to stop the. They'll have to click the boot thing, the farm mode, and so then, yeah. Also, I want to use the energizer. I want to demonstrate the energizer ability real quick. See how you could use all these abilities, but the, what it says it energize it doubles the effect of the next skill you use. <coughs> yeah, the one I want to double is super clicks, which apparently is my favorite one to do. So you do this. And you can reload to reload that and then energize that. I was trying to energize. Wait, stop. Oh. Oh, I guess I could go further than that with this. Wow. Ho ho! It got me through boss with 50 and did, did, did that was that a primal boss? It was! I knew it! I knew it was a primal boss. Yeah, I... <laughs> Look at that. We could get to 160 today. Alright. I don't want to have to stop at 155, so that's not going to be fair of me. Yeah. I could do this legit. I mean, I am trying technically. 
I mean, I technically got here legit before, but it was really hard on me. I actually did get to this point legit. It was like super hard to do. I had to. I was forced to use my abilities just to get to this point. That's how difficult this gets. It gets so hard that you have to level up these two guys every time, and it gets ridiculous. To be able to do relevant DPS, you have to level up the Frostleaf and Grant a bunch of times. Just enough so, so you can get past a bunch of these zones. And you have to do that enough times so you can finally hire this guy, which is down here, Dread Knight. He ha now he is worth 2 billion times more gold than Frostleaf. The frick? Like, that's insane! I cannot get him in one video. Like, I have to do multiple click vids. By the time I'm done with multiple click vids, I will be at the point where I can finally unlock the dude. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I have to separate these this into multiple videos because just for one hero, I know it's ridiculous, but I have to do that to make it more fair on you guys. Make it more easy. I, to make it more reasonable for you guys, I'll make a bunch of separate short videos I'll be doing the game instead of just this one mega long video because uh, there's no way I have time for that and and yes you can already see the monsters are dying at a ridiculously slow way if I didn't have the click ancient with me to assist me yeah this is just getting freaking ridiculous like uh, please make fun oh my god this guy has a lot of health I knew we were running to a bad boss Bad health value of a boss. Oh crap, we're gonna be stuck here, aren't we? Oh man. He has too much health! How am I gonna beat him? I can't defeat this man's tushy because he's too powerful, bro. Like, I'm gonna be stuck here for a while, guys. <laughs> well, I'm gonna show you a little trick I like to do when you get stuck. You see how you can indefinitely gain more DPS and click damage with this Ancient? Yes, and I tested this before and it is proven to be true. So I'm going to have to be sitting here for a little while because, yeah, this may take a while for the DPS to eventually catch up to the boss's health. But eventually the boss will die. It will just take a little while. We're getting around halfway, half his health down now, but it's not enough. Thankfully this guy doesn't have too much HP and I could just... Yeah. I don't think the game is going to make any more zone progression now because these bosses have too much health for that to happen. And the game somehow helps me out. It just beats all the bosses for me while I'm gone. Like, all the zones for me while I'm gone. Levels for me while I'm gone. I'm like, why is the game do? I'm like, I get it. it's trying to help me out, but... <laughs> okay, it's all right, game. I didn't need that much help. I appreciate it, but I didn't need that much of your support. I like how it's giving me two rubies every time now. That's just great. Because you can buy stuff with those rubies in the shop. And yes, there are valuable things you can get in the shop, like uh, two times multiplier. That's actually useful because you can... It's forever, by the way, so... It indefinitely multiplies your DPS by two times. That's why it's very useful, because it indefinitely multiplies it. Yeah. You see, when you get stuck on a tough boss like this... Get a confirmate with yourself and ask, Now why did you do that? Why? Now I know... I realized it says the next skill you use, it energizes it. And I might have messed it up a little bit, but don't worry guys, I'll sh get the chance to show you next time I'll make a vid in, in, on this game. Next time I make a vid on this title, I'll show you, I'll properly demonstrate the energize ability because I figured out how you actually use it. You you click this, and you, before you click on this, you something like this, you click it, this, and then this, yeah, I figured it out, so that's how you do it. Anyways, um, as I mentioned, I might be stuck in this boss for a little while, so get comfortable, you guys, because I'm going to be here for a little bit. Yeah, this boss sucks. 
because it has a lot of HP. It has octillion HP. That is a huge number if you don't know that. You think sextillion was large? This is octillion D HP. I have to do at least a little bit of octillion DPS to like easily kill this guy. It's ridiculous. His HP values, like, these, these bosses are ridiculous. It's the same rat boss from way back at the beginning, but this time he is much more powerful than he was before. Now he's like OP as heck. He comes. He came back to get me as revenge, and now he he came back to with more health. He came back to be a tougher boy. He came back to be a tanky boy now. He's a tanky as hell boy now. Like as you notice, you notice as you can you can notice that you might be noticing that. The DPS is starting to become enough now, but it's it's getting there. It's uh, almost there to defeat this guy. Yeah, I technically am not stuck on this boss because if you have the clicking ancient, it will help you get out of any boss. It will just it will indefinitely stack the DPS. It's a forever stacking DPS thing. It is very useful, by the way, because it can make you have. One million times more DPS than you normally can, and you can progress through these bosses with ease. I'm not joking, by the way. In the and the game itself also has auto clickers, but for now, you can also buy other in-game auto clickers. Yes, they're built in the game. I know, but the first one you get is a hundred gems or rubies. It takes a hundred rubies just to get one. It's, it's like ridiculous. But thankfully, you really should do the wiser decision to get the 50 one. The, the one that costs 50 rubies first, and then that one, which is 100, later. Because that's what the game kind of wants you to do. So, yeah. There are There is another way to collect rubies. It's through the mercenaries. That and the... And the, and the clickables. And the orange clickable guys are the two ways you can get rubies. So later on, you lock another method which gets you rubies faster is the mercenaries. Now, these guys are insanely useful, by the way. Oh, and also the clickable bees sometimes shows up too. It's uh, hopefully it gives me a yes! Oh, that's exactly what I need a click star. Oh, it gives me a good one. Okay, let's go. I even got it as. Wow, we even got us twice as powerful. That's really good. Oh, I have two. I didn't even notice that because of the energize. Now I got. Now you guys get to see what it does. It doubles the effect. That's not a joke. No joke, by the way. I'm literally getting rapid click damage every second. Oh my goodness. I think I might be able to. I think he's gonna die. Oh my god. Is he actually gonna die? Is he? Is he gonna? Yo! Let's go! We actually see. I told you guys I could actually kill this guy. I thought that might sound wrong there, but yeah. All right, let's go. It's try time to be time to eliminate this man. All right, here we go. Come on, come on! You know you want. Come on! You know you want some of that sauce, do you, Mister Oversized Rat Boy? Okay, he's like a literally oversized version of uh, the Reddies. I am literally doing thousands of DPS to this man. You know what? That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter anymore because guess what? We're not stuck in that zone anymore. That's why we're at 156! Aha! I got you! Oh, you think I was gonna not make progress? Oh, you're dead wrong, son. Yeah, that just took a while for me to get the DPS to go through that, to pierce through that boss, but I finally did it. Oh my god, it took forever, dude. I'm not joking, that took minutes just to kill that one boss. I am. That's not a joke, by the way. I had to spend a lot of minutes on that one boss, that is ridiculous. I, I, that, that's not a happy thing to be, that's not a thing to enjoy. That is suffering. It's literally suffering. I, I'm not a joke. Like, what I mean by that? It's like, it takes forever to build up DPS to destroy the guy. You eventually get there, thankfully, but it takes forever just to do that. 
It takes literally forever to get there. I'm not joking, by the way. That is not a joke. It, you, as you saw, it literally took me minutes just to kill the boss. Because he has so much HP. And our DPS is little garbage compared to that. So at first it's like, we have very crappy DPS. And on top of that, the bosses have insanely high amounts of health. Meaning, the game was kind of, that's like the game trying to warn me that, hey, you really should ascend. Like, now. You really need to ascend. I am getting serious now. I'm like, come on, game, you can't tell me what to do. It's my decision. You Come on, game, it's my decision. You can't tell me what to do. And you're trying to tell me what to do, just cause the way you're trying to tell me that is to make the monsters tanky, including the bosses. And you make the bosses ultra tanky, making them nearly impossible for me to beat. And I have to use a, the power-ups just to beat their tushies, you know? Just to beat their... I guess some of the bosses don't have tushies. That's just that's the slime ones. The goopy monsters don't have tushies, I know that. I guess scorpion one, I guess the scorpion one does. Yeah, the rat ones definitely do. Have a they have a hairy tushy, let's just say that. Okay, some of them are hairless, meaning I guess they have a hairless tushy? I don't know. The one thing I could say for certain is we're almost at boss with sixty, which is good. But I know what that one is, because in the zo in level fifty of Rock in this zone is Rockland's one, by the way. I already f you mentioned all the zones. There's no new enemies anymore, so. Yeah, I know all the ones now are now. It's just everyone. The only thing that changes every time now is every boss level, every level, every hundred levels now is there, no, is there a difference. Only the bosses change now. Only the 100th level bosses change now. So like, but level 100 was this hamster cat boss. I can only imagine what 200 is. It would be much tougher, obviously, <laughs> than the 100. Yep, this is the... Yeah, I'm gonna need this. Can you just halt that entirely? Oh, oh my, well the bad news is we're going to be here for probably a little longer because I realized I messed up a little bit and I didn't know that this guy has a crap ton more health, oh my god. He has double the health of the other boss, which is insane. Not only that, I can't even do much to this man. I mean, I am doing something, it's just not enough. I'm rapidly gaining DPS every second, and even then, even with the rapid gain of DPS, the assistance of that, the rapid this DPS and click damage assistance, I still can't. Just, I can barely beat this guy. I'm getting him at least to halfway dead, but it's not enough. It's not enough to kill him. I have to keep this going for a really long time. I'm getting really stuffy, that's why I, was... I hate allergies sometimes, you know, it sucks. I was doing that because I was getting a runny nose. I hate when that happens. It just... It, runny, it's like liquid burgers, basically, going out of you. I'm sorry if you didn't want to picture that, but I have to admit the truth sometimes. I have to be honest, alright? That's what I'm about. That's all I'm about. I'm about. I'm an honest man. I can't lie. Because it's wrong. Because it's morally wrong. And I don't want to do that. I always say the truth. I always will. I always am an honest boy. I am an honest boy and always will be an honest boy. That's all you gotta know. That's all you ever know. Alright, right. Okay? Good, good. Anyways. Alright. So about the boss, we're almost like, we're now, I'm now getting 
closer to defeating the guy now. I'm like 75% of the way to death. <gasps> the boss is 75% of the way to death. Okay, this is just getting this is just getting freaking ridiculous, man. Like, I, like this dude literally. It took me. It took me like. Like ten minutes just to kill that one boss. I hope this one won't take too much longer, because. You, you, as you can, you might be noticing. Whoa, crispy fur. I can see he's slowly gonna be. I can see he's he's slowly dying away. Yeah, that is true. He slowly is. The DPS is slowly becoming more and more powerful every second. You're right about that. But how long is that gonna take? Well, a pretty long time, to be honest. At a certain point, the DPS starts to take a really long time to gain up. And if I have enough DPS, I'll be able to beat the crap out of the boss. Therefore, and the, and the critical clicks are important because those will help me beat the boss. Critical clicks actually matter now in these levels, so I have to get lucky a bunch of times. <gasps> to get lucky and see a bunch of critical clicks, which thankfully I can see happen really often. Because I, the probability is 9%, so that's pretty good. So the default probability is 9% now, so that's really good. If I have something, if... Yeah, if I was clicking myself, I would not be able to even beat the other bosses I just did. See, at a certain point these bosses start to have ridiculous amounts of HP. And yeah, having a little friend click for me, not having a little buddy click for me. Not me myself. A little buddy, like a little little assistant, assistant old buddy, doing the clicking for me. Cause if I were to do all this clicking myself, it would take me so long just to kill this damn boss. At first of all, and second of all, I'm getting around like now seventy five percent of the way to death for this guy. So yeah. I'm getting him down to sextillion HP now, which is really good, but sadly not enough. Lee, that's not enough. So I need to see a noticeable difference in HP. Anyways, I cannot do anything. I literally have to wait. Oh, this is so annoying. You guys don't understand how annoying this is. Like, it takes literally minutes just to get proper DPS numbers into this. Since the numbers get so big in this game, eventually it'll be so large of number values that it starts to lag, lag sometimes. Yeah. Right now it's just a small, a, bit, a mere small octillion. And thankfully that doesn't lag the crap out of the game. Thank god. Because these are ridiculously big numbers, by the way. So octillion is a really huge number. It's massive when you try to put it in. Like, and it's, it's, yeah, if actually these, actually in the future, you'll see the monsters have so much HP that it just, it's, it's like, I can't really count at that point. I mean, there's a point where I cannot tell what number it is anymore, and that point is soon coming, and that's kind of terrifying to me. Why? Because eventually I'm not going to be able to count the numbers properly, and yeah. And that will be a problem, because I like being able to pro I like being able to understand what numbers I'm looking at. Once that point comes where I can't understand it at all, meaning the numbers get so big that I can't understand what it's trying to tell me. So it's like, yeah, it's so massive. Hey, look at that, we got ourselves a clickable. That's fun. That barely helped. Even the clickables are not being as helpful as they used to be. They're barely doing a difference for me. I literally have to be on the grind for a long time to even get good you know, progress into this. I literally have to gain a crap ton of DPS. 
I literally have to be grinding on this boss forever and ever. I hate how this works, but yeah. Basically, I want to make progress on this boss, so please, I hope that happens. Oh god, I hope that happens. Because, uh, why is this boss not dead yet? Come on, man. Uh, I'm gonna be here for so long. I'm noticing that he's starting to get really close to death now, which is good, but not, not enough to kill him. <laughs> If I have enough DPS to kill him, I need to keep this on for a long time. Ultra, ultra long time. And the unfortunate thing is, the boss time is always 30 seconds, or at least for now. Soon you'll notice that the, deep, that the boss timer will drastically reduce. And that is really bad, because... That is really awful, by the way, when that happens, because you will barely have any time to do anything. Heck, you'll barely have any time to see the boss on screen, so that's why it's recommended to keep the progression mode off when you're at that point. So it doesn't immediately kick you out of the zone level. It doesn't immediately kick you out into back into a monster level. So, yeah. Uh, I, I, they put a clickable in the position, I can't move it because if I do, I'm gonna click the mercenary button as well. Yeah, that's a little bot or something. I'm gonna lose potential DPS! Way to go, Gibby! You're just taunting me now, aren't you? Because <laughs> it's, it's literally, it put a clickable in a spot where I can't move the cursor because if I do, I'm gonna lose DPS. Was click damage, and what if that it will be messed up? That will be messing up by uh, the perfection I need to defeat this boss. And also, most of the DPS, most of the DPS is by from me. If I hear the guy go, oop, oop, you hear him go, oop, then I know I've defeated him. Come on, dude, I can't even get, I mean, I'm depleting a lot of his HP right away, but it's not, like, fast enough. Come on, man. This guy has a stupid amount of HP. Seriously. The value of this is really high. Like, I could just... Like, I'm not kidding you. I'm not joking. This is like, this is awful. I don't have to end the video with the boss undefeated. I want to take him down this video. Come on, I'm getting so close. I'm, look, I, it was like 99% way to death at this point. That's literally really close. We like had one sliver of health, percent of, a sliver of 1% health left. I was that close. I was not joking. He's literally... <sighs> this boss is ridiculous, man. I want this guy dead, though. Man! Kill him! Oh my god, you were so close! No! Why, man? Why, why me? Bro, like... Because this boss just wants to taunt me. I can see that now, because the taunt me with the tanky amount of HP. Still not enough? Are you kidding me, bro? Like... Are you kidding me? Like, like this dude seriously needs to just get disposed already. Like, seriously. Come on, man. I don't go all day. Bro! I am literally getting closer to beating your tushy. I swear, man. I'm gonna get your hairy Bigfoot tushy if you don't, like, just get demolished already. Oh. I see a critical, I see the 
critical strike one that's gonna be usable soon. Yes! I oh, they got an achievement! I got zone owner and also guess what else I unlocked. Oh. Oh it changed the sky color! Oh my gosh, when I click that. By the way, I can't see this yet, but it's, it won't show me spoilers of it yet, but it says, this is called, the, what this is, is a more powerful version of Ascension. I don't want to do that yet, because I want to show you Ascension first, so I'm not going to show this until way later, probably in my really later videos, much later videos, like when I have around like level 300. Oh, it's call it, it calls it so okay. I like how you play with B game. Like, come on, you play that. B. I like this nice space background. This is yeah. Every zone does. I can make every zone look like this now. Cool. Eh, back to the casual daytime thing see many surprises we got and you can also do that little trick by the way you can just open them all at once you don't have to do it one at a time and see which ones I got okay I got one for the brawler I don't think I have that yet okay I have those that I need to make sure how many you got okay oh look at that tree beast got a second one how convenient And, the, and by the way, the Guild of Bones' stack, as you can see here, now it has now he does a hundred times normal damage. It's double hit damage, normal damage. None of those have two. This one just has one. Oh yeah. I think this hero looked different before, but now the uh, Guild of Bonus they change in appearance. I forgot to mention that. I need to keep that click combo going, or else I'll lose that. Okay, yeah. You can try to taunt me all you want, kid, but I don't think so. Alright, yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to cut it short here, so. Yeah, I, I would continue on to the. To what I would have got well I'm gonna just end it at 160 here for today so as you can see without the clicking thing I'm gonna leave this off I'm gonna go idle for 60 seconds and you'll see what the, the there'll be a definitely noticeable change here in a bit of seconds because I was grinding the DPS for a long time I'll show you guys what happens if I leave the clicking thing idle for 60 seconds. It will eventually disappear. The fast DPS magic will eventually just go away. Suddenly. See, monsters are tied insanely fast, but that's because I made the click. Just because the help of the click combo thing. When we just. And it's gone for like after 60 seconds. You see some. Yep. Yep. It's a lot slower now. It happened. Okay. Well. This is the double DPS rate. This is absurdly slow. So. This is so slow. I can't even make any bucks with this. I can't end a video like this. And now it's a lot faster. See? Oh good, it got... Yes, yeah, a clickable. And metal detectors up. Let's go. Now we can get... Double the money from treasure chest. Oh man, perfect timing. Yes. Now I can level up him. Oh, even better. Alright, well. He multiplied the, the... This DPS multiplied a little more, so that's good. How much each time? Four times now? Man. His level's high now. That's pretty good. Now we now 
if you get a hero to like level 200, what? That's beginning of when you can multiply the damage by four times every 25 levels now. So now every time I level up Grant by 25 levels, he gets insane DPS multiplier every time. Meaning, yeah, I think I could. Well, anyways, I'm gonna end the I'm gonna end it here at 160. So here, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to sincerely, for real, sincerely, positively like, comment, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell. Share this amazingly cool and epic video with others. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, my dude to the debts. I love you. Bye.